Yo, hello everyone. Are you looking to build a stunning website for your restaurant? In this tutorial, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a WordPress website tailored specifically for restaurants. From selecting a theme to adding plugins that will successfully help your website and restaurant get more clients. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing first, which is obviously opening your WordPress website in the dashboard. Next thing is simply as choosing a theme for our WordPress website. As you might notice here, this is the website that I have in the, at the moment. And in case I'd like to make it more good looking, etc., and will fit the restaurant category, I will have to change the template. So let's go here into the main menu and go to the appearance and click on themes. The next thing that you'll have to go for is simply search for a theme by clicking on add new. So here we go. And here I highly suggest you guys to go and search by keywords. So I'm going to write here restaurants and they will give us a bunch of options. For example, here, if you have like uh, Asian restaurants, if you have like Italian kind of restaurant, uh, a bar, uh, anything, any kind of restaurant, you can have it over here. They even give you some fast food uh, theme for your restaurants if you are making fast food. But in general, these are the templates that you might have here. You can also get to other bro uh, like uh, website that will give you kind of different and better uh, templates or themes that you can work on but they might be uh, costing you some dollars but these ones are completely for free you can use them without paying anything so let's get started with using one of these for example restaurant food delivery I'm going to click on install and just like that I will just wait for it until it is fully installed on my, on my website and then again click on activate now we have successfully added the uh, team which we have to do now is actually choose here the plugins that we need so there is two options you can go for the free version or the pro version as i said here you can get it for free and you can get the pro version as well which will have which will get you all of these templates all of these layers that you see here all of the different kind of menus and plugins already installed so for us we'll just stick with the simple version which is the free version as you might notice here so this is our version we can customize it through here and as you can see here and it is not that pretty good as you might see so we really have to go for the premium version but for now what you'll have to do is simply stick with the free version and install these plugins that they ask us to add so they want begin installing plugins which are these plugins Google Language Translator, Kirky Customizer Framework and WooCommerce so these are the plugins that we must install in order for our theme to be working successfully and without any problems so click on begin installing plugins and choose this uh, mark and then click on install and then apply just like that we are installing the plugins so we don't have any problem in the future with our templates so now two on three have been installed and three on three has been installed let's check the plugins from here on this plugin area and go to active so at the moment we only have these two activated which are not really necessary for us so i'm going to actually disactivate them and then I'm going to go here, choose this one and delete it for now. And I will only keep the ones that the browser or the template has actually asked me to add. So now I'm only deleting this one, but yeah, okay, let's click on okay. And we need one more plugin, which is I think WooCommerce. So it, here it is, okay, everything is good now. So I'm going to activate those three by clicking over here on these three plugins, go to actions and then click on activate then click on apply and these plugins shall be activated as you may see now if I refresh the page it won't be that really changement there will be nothing changed beside of course the search bar this WooCommerce cart as you can see here and of course this translate page which will help us add some translation in the future now go back here and check your pages so as you can see we have this 
page so we have home services pricing news and about us for restaurants we might maybe change a little bit of those so we can go to pages uh, we are going to keep um, the home page so this is gonna stick with us about us is gonna stick but I'm going to change these three. So I'm going to change these pages that I have already created before. I'm going to delete them and move them to trash. Apply. And what I'm going to do next is simply uh, let's delete even this trash. So now I'm going to click on add new through here to create a new page. And this page shall be the menu. So here people can come and simply check the our menu and start uh choosing what they like to uh, like to comment from us or what they want to eat simply so we can here add some blocks we add we can add images which gonna have our menus with pricing under it so simply you can for example choose a gallery with the pricing also we can simply add images and under the image we can add another block which will be simply a text message uh, we can add less it will be simply very easy to use guys once you are done you can simply click on publish click on publish again and here it is published now to add it to this main menu as you can see I have deleted the pages so they will be no longer here beside the menu and about us so in case you'd like to add any main menu to here you can simply go to your WordPress dashboard so I'm going to show you real quick click here and then click on visit site the next thing is simply click on customize button and they will show you this menu so now click on menus as you may see here and choose the main menu from here you can simply add the menus that you'd like to add to the main menu which is the menu that we are editing right now so these ones are some pages that i have before and they are no longer existing and from here also you can adjust the layers so you can order reorder the menu you can add side menus for example if you'd like to add menu categories for example let's choose this we can add item and i'm going to add a new page which is going to be for example asian uh, menu for example click on add so this one i want it to be inside of the menu itself so what i'm going to do is add it here it is still not uh, below the menu so just drag it a little bit to the right just like that uh sorry just like that and if i went back here this means just, let me just remove this publish if I hover on this menu, it should give me the main or the sub menu. Now, because I am on the customize section, it will not give me this option. But otherwise, you will have the option working for you successfully, unless there is a bug with your template or something like that. Now, you have to add a couple other stuff to make your website more like uh, fresh and etc. So, if I went back to the, me the menu, which is the dashboard, and I clicked on plugins. We have to install a plugin which is called Elementor. This Elementor plugin will help you simply to adjust the layers on your website, add images, like literally it will it is like Photoshop of website. It will help you build your website from scratch using its elements, block system and their own uh, easy drag and click uh, system of like designing so let me show you real quick how it works click on here on elementor search for it it has of course the free version and the premium version you can also use the free version it will have uh, the best quality things you don't really have to go far away with the, with the premium version even though it will help you a lot with customizing the woocommerce section the store but overall you can stick to the free version it is still simply very very good so through here you can simply click on activate and the next thing is simply go to a post and start adjusting things from there you can click here and add a new post and from the post you can click on edit with Elementor and it will have the simply these things but with better options it is very easy to use and of course in case you'd like to make a delivery system in your website you can search for this delivery uh, delivery man here we go let me just remove this or we can just keep it with delivery and they will show you a bunch of plugins the things that i really love to use 
which is this delivery and pickup date time for WooCommerce. It is supported by WooCommerce, which will help you a lot in your website since you have WooCommerce already installed in your website. Otherwise, you can use whatever plugin you looked for or you like on your own WordPress website. So thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.